Hello everyone, and welcome back to Baseballogy, where we look at the current Hall of Famers and discuss their worthiness for induction in the Hall of Fame. As always, I don't advocate for anyone's removal from the Hall of Fame, but I do like talking about the history and ranking these players. Today we have an interesting case. This player came up as a pitcher, broke his arm, and then became a shortstop. All the while, he did everything he could to reform the labor policies of the game, even helping form the Players Association, and fought against the Reserve Clause. Well before Kurt Flood fought his fight, Monty Ward fought a similar fight back in the very early years of the game. Now, Ward presents an interesting dilemma for those of us to discuss the Hall of Fame. How do we view him? Do you view him as a pitcher? A shortstop? Both? After a lot of reflection, I decided to look at him as a shortstop, because he spent more time as a shortstop than he did as a pitcher. I've tried to do a composite of his score as a shortstop and as a pitcher, but it massively overrates his numbers, because he never had a chance to really decline as a pitcher making all of his seasons peak seasons. Even pitchers with short careers like Sandy Koufax or Eddie Joss have non-peak pitching seasons, so we're going to look at Ward solely as a position player. And as a position player, Ward's stats are incredibly lacking. His career slash line of 275, 314, 341, which was only good for WRC Plus of 97, is not that great. He managed to collect more than 2,100 hits in his career, which was an impressive feat for someone who spent parts of seven seasons as a pitcher, but Ward was just not a great hitter. He was an adept base runner, though, stealing over 500 bases, which weren't an official stat until 1886, and he was worth more than 48 runs as a base runner in his career. Unfortunately, he played at a decently high point in time for offense before the dead ball era started, and his batting numbers just pale in comparison to his peers. Now, to be fair to Ward, he was a very good pitcher. He threw over 2,400 innings, won 164 games, and put up an ERA of 2.1. Interesting to note is that he had over 600 unearned runs in his time as a pitcher, which was actually more than the number of earned runs that he allowed. Weird little thing I had noticed. After being a good pitcher for six seasons, in his seventh season, Ward damaged his arm on a steal attempt. He'd already felt some arm soreness after throwing over 1,300 innings in his first three seasons, and he did begin a slow transition to being a position player after that point. His arm injury in 1884 hastened his transition to full-time position player, and should have ended his season. But Monty Ward was a man's man. Instead of using his right arm, Ward taught himself how to hit and throw left-handed, which he did for the remainder of the 1884 season while playing in the outfield. Then in 1885, he switched to shortstop for the remainder of his career. At shortstop, he was a surprisingly good defender despite his odd career trajectory. Ward has a very interesting story as a player, but it's not quite good enough for the Hall of Fame, unless we add in that Ward was an incredibly important person in the history of the game. As I said earlier, Ward was instrumental in forming the very first Players' Union, and was one of the first players to fight hard for more rights. In 1890, Ward took many of the disgruntled players and formed their own league, called the Players' Association. However, due to a lack of funds for the owners, the Players' Association failed after one season, and the players returned to the major leagues. Ward fought hard and showed immense bravery and courage, helping to forge the early game into what it is today. Ward's efforts are more than deserving of a spot in the Hall of Fame. Thanks for watching today's video on Monty Ward. What did you guys think? Was I too hard? Should I include his pitching numbers for his career? They're tough choices, I know, but I do feel comfortable with the decision I made. Still, I'd love to hear from you guys. Leave a comment below and let me know. If you liked the video, please click the like button and hit the subscribe button to find out when the next video comes out. Speaking of which, who am I covering next? But another catcher? I just did one! Alright, here's the hint. This catcher parlayed a career on the field to a very successful career in the Tigers' front office. I'll see you next time.